In this video, we're gonna be discussing six different six foot step ladder options, including the four that you see next to me. We're gonna be discussing weight capacity, price, the actual weight of the ladder, as well as recommended uses. Stay tuned, it's coming up next. What's going on guys and gals? Kendall here with Reno's for Pros and Joe's helping you simplify the renovation and remodeling process. On this channel, we do renovation tip and strategy videos as well as hands-on product tooling gear reviews like this one. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. Today, we're going to be discussing six different options for six foot step ladders. That's a tongue twister. And I've got four of those different options with me today. We're gonna to go over the price. We're gonna go over the weight capacity. We're gonna go over the actual weight of the ladders as well as recommended uses. And I'm also gonna throw in some of the nuances that kind of differentiate some of these ladders from one another. So let's jump into it. I do have my handy dandy notepad with me today so that I make sure that I don't miss anything. So don't mind that. I just wanna make sure that we get everything covered today. So let's jump into it. So before we get started, I wanna let you know that links to all the letters we're gonna be discussing today will be in the description box below. As we jump into it, I also wanna point out that there is a direct correlation between the price of the ladder the weight capacity of the ladder, as well as the actual weight of the ladder, which you will see as we run through each one of these ladder options. So we're gonna start with fiberglass, and then we're gonna jump over to aluminum. So the first fiberglass ladder that we're gonna discuss is going to be the green ladder, which you see here. The weight capacity for the green ladder is 225 pounds. The weight of the ladder is 15 pounds. And this ladder can typically be purchased for somewhere between 60 to $75. The next step up is going to be the blue ladder, which I do not have with me today. That ladder has a weight capacity of 250 pounds. It weighs 18 pounds, and the price point is somewhere around the $85 mark. The third fiberglass ladder option is the orange ladder, which you see here. This ladder has a weight capacity of 300 pounds. It has a weight of 20 and a half pounds, and it can be typically purchased between 80 to $100. $100 would probably be right around full retail. They run sales periodically where you may be able to procure the ladder for around $80. And then the fourth fiberglass option is one that you don't see nearly as often, which is this yellow ladder here, which has a weight rating or weight capacity of 375 pounds. It has a weight of 24 pounds and it runs somewhere around $117 to $125, okay? So that concludes our fiberglass ladder options. We're gonna jump over to aluminum, and then we're gonna discuss some of the differences between these different ladders. The first aluminum ladder that we're gonna to discuss today, I actually don't have with me today, but that ladder has a weight capacity of 250 pounds. It has a weight of 14 and a half pounds, which makes it the lightest, and it has a price point of right around $75. And then the second aluminum ladder, which is going to be the sixth ladder and final ladder that we're going to discuss today, is going to be the one that you see down here on the end that looks a little bit different than the other ones. I'll discuss why that is here in just a moment. This ladder has a weight capacity of 300 pounds. It costs somewhere right around $200, and it has a weight of 35 pounds. Okay, so now that I've introduced all six ladders, let's talk about some of the differences between these six ladder options. The first differentiating factor is going to be your ability to do electrical work. So the fiberglass options, when we discuss four of them, are all rated for electrical work. The two aluminum ladders are not. And so if you're gonna be doing electrical work, you want to probably consider using or purchasing an aluminum ladder over either of the aluminum options. So the next factor that I want you to consider with regards to picking out a six foot step ladder is going to be whether or not you're gonna be working with the ladder outdoors. And so the three ladders that are going to do the best in that scenario are going to be these three right here. They have the higher weight ratings, which means that they are stiffer ladders, which are gonna be better suited for working on outdoor services that typically are not 100% level. And so remember that this weight rating is 300 pounds, this one's 375, and this one is also 300. The next 
topic that I want to discuss is going to be what type of work you're going to be doing on the ladder. And so the ladder that I don't have here that's aluminum is what I prefer to as a painter's ladder. And the reason why I refer to it as that is that's essentially the most that you're supposed to be doing on that ladder. It's going to be going up with something very lightweight like a paintbrush, going straight up, doing what you need to do and coming down. And that is more limited than the other options that you see here. The trade-off is going to be the weight. And so the aluminum ladder that I'm discussing, which is what I call a painter's ladder, it's going to be the least heavy ladder. And the reason why painters love these ladders is because they're the ones who are going to be moving ladders around essentially more than any other tradesmen or professionals. You've seen painters and painters' vans and painters' trucks. They typically store the ladders way up on top of the roof of the vehicle and they have to pull them down and strap them down and move them around and tote them around and move them around in properties and outside of properties and everything like that. So you can understand very easily why the lightest ladder is going to be the best option if you're gonna to have to move the ladder around all the time. So that's one thing to consider. Okay, so let's talk about the actual weight of these ladders a little bit further. We just discussed that the aluminum ladder is the lightest with a weight of 14.5 pounds. But let's discuss the difference in weight of these fiberglass ladders in comparison. So this fiberglass ladder is the lightest weight one, and the difference between these two ladders in weight between the green and the orange is about five pounds. You also have about a five pound difference between the orange ladder and the yellow ladder which makes the difference between these two ladders almost 10 pounds. So the yellow ladder is going to be 24 pounds, and then this type of green ladder right here is going to be 15 pounds. So that's nine pound weight reference. So if you're very sensitive to the weight of the ladder, you wanna make sure that you select the ladder that's going to be comfortable for you. Okay, so the next topic that we're gonna discuss with these ladders is going to be your ability to store the ladder, okay? So relatively speaking, these ladders are all approximately the same size. So we've got the green, the orange, the yellow, the aluminum, and the blue are all relatively the same height. They're six foot step ladders. Now the difference is this ladder right here is a telescoping ladder, which means it can collapse down approximately to the height here of my arm. So this part here that you see sticking out will retract down into this base portion and it will make it approximately this height right here. So that makes it a little bit easier to store in a closet and things like that without getting in the way of your coats and other things that you may have in that closet. So that's a plus for this ladder. Okay, so now let's talk about the width of these ladders. And generally speaking, the wider that you're able to stand, the more comfortable it will be for you to be on these ladders. So a larger person is probably gonna be more comfortable standing with their feet further apart. Make sense? So the widest ladder that we have up here is going to be the yellow ladder that has the weight rating of 375. Then we're gonna step down to the orange ladder and the orange ladder and this telescoping ladder right here have approximately the same width and then the green ladder and the metal ladder that I don't have with me today they have the most narrow footprint or width of those two ladders so that's something else to keep in mind it's just going to be the overall comfort that you experience as you're working on this ladder okay so the next topic that I want to discuss with regards to these ladders is going to be outdoor storage and this point is going to be a bigger one for the people who are going to be using these ladders for professional use for work as opposed to someone who's gonna be using it for home use only. And the reason why I point that out is because the yellow ladder and the orange ladder are going to be rated to be stored outside. So you can strap these ladders to the top of your vehicle and they're okay to be exposed to the elements. The other ladders, you're probably not going to want to do that with. And then this particular ladder right here is gonna be quite cumbersome for you to move around on a consistent basis. Okay, so the next topic that I wanna discuss is going to be what's the difference between the yellow ladder and the orange ladder? Because you're gonna see this one, you probably have never seen this one. And so since I have it and I've had the opportunity to use it, I can tell you that the yellow ladder is sturdier than the orange ladder. And you can feel it immediately when you stand on it and you can even feel it in your hands just as you're moving it around. The ladder is tighter and the, each of the components on it is more robust. So all of the aluminum pieces on this ladder are thicker and more rigid than the ones on the orange ladder. However, both of these ladders are very, very sturdy. 
Okay, so let's talk about my ladder recommendations. So, for the aluminum ladder that I don't have here today, which is the lightest ladder, and one that I refer to as a painter's ladder, I recommend that ladder for someone who's going to be doing some light paint work and someone who's going to be sensitive to the overall weight of the ladder because it's the lightest option. However, if you're going to be moving up and doing more active things with the ladder where you're going to have to be leaning or extending out from the ladder in any way, shape or form, I would recommend moving up into at least the green ladder, okay, which is I have right here. So the step ladder that I recommend, if budget will allow, is going to be the orange ladder, particularly if you can buy this ladder at $80, that's a very, very good price. The reason why I recommend this ladder over the green or over the blue ladder is because the increase in the weight capacity means that the ladder is actually sturdier and more robust than the lower rated ladder. So it's not just a matter of you can stand on it and this one will hold that much more weight. What it translates to is a better overall experience with standing on this ladder. I would further emphasize purchasing the orange ladder if you plan on doing any type of work outside. If you've ever tried to put a step ladder up on the outside and have used a lightweight ladder and tried to put it on a ground that is not completely level, it is a nightmare. And so you want to make sure that when you're gonna be working outside that you can depend on your ladder to be sturdy and stable and not shift or begin to walk on you in any type of way. And so for that reason, the orange ladder is going to be awesome. If you're an electrician or you're doing any type of electrical work, you need to be over here on this side anyway. So you're gonna be, you have the options of any of the four fiberglass ladders. However, once again, the orange ladder is going to be the one that I would recommend. And this is the type of ladder that you see typically on contractor vans. It's going to be the orange ladder because it's the one that's most readily available. It has the 300 pound weight rating and it's rated to be outside. The yellow ladder I'd recommend if you're a heavier person or if you're going to be handling things that are extremely heavy while on the ladder because you're gonna want that additional stability when you're handling things that you're moving around lots of framing lumber or this is going to be a better option for you, okay? And then this particular ladder is kind of an outlier. This one does a double duty, and I guess technically it's the most flexible because this ladder telescopes down to a height of about this tall. It's already transformed into its six foot step ladder form here, and then you can actually unlock it and extend it out and I believe this ladder can be extended out to 13 feet tall. And so this is going to be our most versatile ladder but the other thing that I want to point out about this ladder is that it's also the heaviest. And so this ladder is 35 pounds, the newer version that you'd be buying is 30 pounds and has wheels on it but I would say that if you're going to have an issue with storage then this may be a better option for you. However, if weight is any type of concern for you, I would probably shy away from this one because you've gotta be ready to go and hopefully you've eaten your Wheaties when you get start working with this ladder because it's substantially heavier. So as I said, this ladder is 35 pounds and our orange ladder is 20 pounds. And so even in the newer version, there's a 10 pound weight difference between these two ladders which is the same as the weight difference between these two ladders. Slightly more actually, because this was a nine pound weight difference. This is a 10 pound weight difference right here. 15 for this one, 10 for you. Hopefully this is all making sense. Okay, so let me get these ladders out and show you some of the differences real quickly before we get out of here. So let me show you how this ladder works. It's got these mechanisms up here on the top and you take them and push them in and now that's locked. So 
So one of the things that I frequently talk about when I'm working on ladders is making sure that you're familiar with the ladder that you're working with. And this ladder is no exception. So I've discussed that this ladder is the most versatile, but there is one point that I also want to point out with this ladder that makes it different than the other ones, aside from its functionality, is going to be the fact that this ladder has a little bit of more play in it because it has moving parts in it. So that's something that you need to be aware of and just be familiar with when you're working on one. So what I mean is, with regards to the rigidness of these other ladders, these ladders are gonna basically stay put once you have them folded out and there's not gonna be any movement. So this ladder has some play in between its joints here that telescope out. And so you need to be aware of that. So if you can see here that this ladder is moving, it's not because the feet are moving, it's because the components are moving that telescope out. And so as you step up here, if you can see this, there's a little bit of play in there. So it's not that the ladder is gonna fall over, it's just that there's play in the ladder. And so that's something that you need to be aware of because that can potentially throw you off if you're working on one of these ladders and you're not familiar with that and you're used to working on this type of ladder, you may feel that shift and think that the ladder is actually giving when it's actually not. Now, if you're on one of these ladders and you feel a major shift in the ladder like that, the ladder is probably moving and you need to be very careful with how you address that. So that's the main difference that I wanted to show you there. Now let me show you how we break this ladder back down. So the next thing that we do is push our sides back in like that. Okay, so now it's, it's locked. And then to make this ladder go down, I believe we pull, we pull all four of these down. Okay, and there we go. So as I was showing you, this ladder is actually shorter. Let's get this one out of the way. Okay, so this is the next ladder that I wanted to show you. So this is a green ladder. This is not the best example of this ladder because this ladder is very, very, very old. But I did want to point out that uh, basically these ladders have the same functionality and components to them. The green ladder as well as the aluminum paint ladder both have this platform here where you can put your paint bucket which makes them easy to use for those type of purposes or kind of store some little tools and things like that as you can see the yellow ladder also has that however the most commonly sold orange version of the ladder the 300 pound ladder right here does not have the shelf on it don't ask me why i have no idea why but it doesn't and so remember this ladder has the weight rating of 225 pounds this one's 300 this is 375 no idea why they skipped the paint pail platform on the orange one but they did and so if that's something that you're concerned with you may want to look at what type of options there are for add-ons to add that feature because i personally would still prefer to use the orange ladder over the green or blue ladder, okay? Let's get this one out of here. Okay, this is the orange ladder. This is the one that I said that I recommend the most. It does not have your paint tray here or your paint platform here but it does still have all of the openings here on the top where you can store some things okay this ladder is an aluminum and it can best be compared to the yellow ladder but if you look at them side by side you can see some of the differences in the components on them so let's do that so i'm going to set this one back over here and let's look at this one Okay, you can, I don't know if you can see it on the video, but you may be able to see that this ladder is even moving 
less as I'm standing on it. So you can see that this one has the shelf here and on this ladder it can, it can fold away. I'm not sure that it can fold away on the other ladders. And as you can also see, this one has a metal top on it and each one of these components on this ladder is just generally speaking more robust. And so if we take these two ladders and sit them side by side and compare, just look at the difference in the thickness here of the steel. That's one difference there. I'm not sure if these steps are different. And so as we pan down, you can see that they look very similar. But we look up here at the top, you can see this is a plastic top and this is metal and you can see how well this is reinforced. So just this part right here is going to take out a lot of that flexibility in the ladder that you may see when standing on this one. And so let's flip around to the back side here and take a look on this side. Okay, and so as we flip over here on the back side, we can also see that we've got reinforcement here on this third rail here from the bottom. There's no reinforcement on this one at all. And then as we pan up here, you can also see that this is just much thicker than this one, just like on the other side. Okay, so those are pretty much the major differences between these two ladders. These are gonna be our best options for our tradesmen and pros, as well as homeowners who are gonna be using the ladder on a consistent basis inside and outside. Our other options are gonna be more limited, if you're able to buy some of the other options for a substantially reduced price, then that may make it a better option for you. But generally speaking, in all things being consistent, these two are gonna be the best options. This is for the pros who don't mind spending the additional funds to get that one. This one is going to be the one that is going to be the easiest to procure. The telescoping aluminum ladder is going to give you more flexibility and if you're going to be in a situation where space is going to be a huge factor, then you may want to consider the telescoping ladder, particularly if you need a step ladder as well as a straight ladder, that's going to be the best option. However, the trade-off obviously is going to be the weight. So hopefully you found this video informative. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys on the next one.